Hey, what's up everyone? Funerex Overhaul version 2 was recently released. And as I have seen on the Discord server of this version of the game, a lot of users are having hard time installing this game and following the necessary steps to get it running. A part of the problem is that the game is pre-installed and heavily modded. So there is a lot of possibilities for some tiny errors or compatibility issues preventing the game from running well on your computer. But the vast majority of issues that I have seen come from users making mistakes by not following properly instructions. And so I decided to make a video guide on how to install Funorex Overhaul version 2 on your computer. I will go with you step by step to help you install this awesome iteration of Pro Evolution Soccer 21. And in the process, we will also discuss typical issues that I have seen in the last couple of weeks popping up for users. So let's get started. But first things first, let me answer a question that I see popping up all the damn time. Do you need Pro Evo 21 or Football Life to play this? And the answer is resounding no, you don't need it. Fanurex Overhaul is a standalone, which means that you don't need Pro Evo 21 or Football Life 25 installed on your computer. This overhaul contains the core game and all the mods necessary to enjoy it. Keep in mind that the download size is approximately 260GB, with the game taking 358GB of space once you unpack the files on your computer. So you will need a big chunk of hard drive space to play this version of Football Life 25. And speaking about hard drive, you can use SSD or HDD for this game. I tried using both and have not felt a noticeable difference in load times for matches. Alright, with that out of the way, let's download the game first. To do so, join Fanorex Overhaul Discord server, which I linked in the video's description. There, you can get the link for downloading the game in a mysterious Download Here section. The game is available for download only through a service called GoFile. GoFile is free to use even for such a massive downloads like this one. There's only one limitation when using it for free. You have to download one file at a time and there are 14 parts of this overhaul. Some people complain about download speeds being very low on GoFile. Honestly, it worked very fine for me taking approximately 18 to 20 minutes per 20 GB part. It's not amazing download speed by any means, considering that I have 1000 Mbps internet, but it's nothing bad either. The only problem I had downloading Fanorex Overhaul was when I had NordVPN protection switched on, which increased the download times to 4 hours per single part, but it disappeared as soon as I turned this protection off. So, if you have low download speeds on GoFile, make sure that you turn off your antivirus, VPN or just change the browser that you are using to see if you can get better download speeds. So once you finish downloading all 14 parts of this overhaul, you will have to extract these parts on your computer. But before you do so, I highly recommend that you add the folder where you will store the game to exceptions in your antivirus. This is because sometimes antivirus can be falsely triggered by modded games, deleting important data, especially exe files. For extraction itself, I recommend using WinRAR as it handles the process really, really smoothly. Some users had issues with other archive management applications, so just stick with WinRAR. For those of you who are new to using files split into parts, here's how it works. All those 14 parts that you downloaded are just one packed archive, split into smaller pieces to help with downloading and processing such a massive chunk of data. And this means that you don't have to extract every single part separately. When you extract part 1 on your computer, it will extract the entire game for you. So once you have WinRAR on your PC, right click on any part of Funurex Overhaul version 2 and click Extract here or wherever you want to have the game installed at your computer. Now the extraction process will begin. How long does it take? Well, it depends. It may take anywhere from 10 minutes on a fast computer with a good SSD 
to a few hours on a slow HDD with potato computer. If the extraction freezes at the start, don't panic, just let it run for a few minutes and it should show progress eventually. Ok, so the downloading and extraction is done. Can we start playing already? Well, not quite yet my friend. We need to do few things to get the game running properly on your computer. First, we have to sort out the roster database. To do that, we go to Squad's database folder where you extracted Fanorex Overhaul. Then go to eFootball PES 2021 Season Update folder. We copy everything from this folder and go to Documents and then search for Konami folder. And then in Konami folder we go to this eFootball PES 2021 Season Update. In case you don't have such Konami folder, this simply means that you have never played eFootball games on your computer. What you have to do to get it is either create a folder called Konami in your Documents folder or just launch the game and once it gets to the main menu, the game should automatically create Konami folder for you. But if you have your data there already, then I highly recommend that you back up your existing folders and files in this location. Remember, backing up your data is always a good idea. Once you've backed up your existing files, delete these folders that you can see right now on the screen and the settings DAT file. Then paste the folders from Fanorex Overhaul Squad's database folder, so it looks like on my screen. Done? Great. This ensures that you will have the correct rosters in the game with proper tactics and so on. But in case you play later the game and you see that goalkeepers are being set as forwards or other various players are just out of their positions or have wrong ratings, then this simply means that you have not followed this step correctly. If so, do it again. Alright, next let's talk about difficulty and match settings in Fanorex Overhaul. Normally, to change difficulty of the match or the length of it, you would just do changes within the game's menu before the match or when starting your career, right? Well, that's not how it works in here. We need to modify both the length and the difficulty by manipulating files. First, I will show you how to change difficulty. We go to Difficulty Modifiers folder and then AI Tweaks. Here you can see different difficulty levels. By default, Fanorex Overhaul is on professional difficulty. I think it's the best to just try the default difficulty, especially if you are new to manual passing and shooting. But say you want to change your difficulty to, for instance, top player. Go to folder for that difficulty and copy AI Tweaks config file. Now back out to SPFL25 folder where you extracted Fanorex Overhaul 2. Next, go to Cider Addons folder and then to Modules. Here you can see AI Tweaks file, right? Paste your new difficulty file that you copied earlier to change the difficulty. Got it? Great. Now let's change the match length. By default, match in Fanorex Overhaul lasts 18 minutes. To change the length, we go to Cider Addons folder within Main Game folder. Here we open Cider config file with any text editor like Notepad for instance. We need to change only one value here and that is match.minutes. Set the number to however long you want the match to play. I personally like to play 14 to 16 minutes matches, but it's entirely personal choice. And basically that's it for the difficulty and match length. If you want to change them again in the future, you will have to repeat these steps again and again. Oh, and while I was making this video guide, a hotfix for version 2 gameplay issues was released. So while we are at the subject of installing the game, let me show you how to install the hotfix as well. First, download the hotfix from Fanrex Discord server in the download here section. Once you got the hotfix downloaded, unzip it. Then we will have to copy paste bunch of files to the correct folders. So let's go one by one. First, the stamina mod. Copy it from hotfix to where you have the game, specifically into Cider add-ons and then modules folder. Replace the file that's already here. Next, copy files, dt13 and dt18 files from hotfix into where you have the game, specifically 
SPFL25 and then go to data folder. Moving on, copy FL2025 start exe file to your main game folder SPFL25 and yet again overwrite the existing file here. And then we will copy gameplay mod folder. But first, we need to go to Cider Addons and then Live CPK folder. Here, we look for Gameplay Mod folder and delete it entirely. And then we copy and paste here the Gameplay Mod folder from the hotfix. Remember, make sure to delete the pre existing folder first to make sure that you don't leave any unwanted files within it. Next, we also have to copy real PES 2025 ini file from the hotfix folder into our cider add-ons folder. Do not copy this file to the main game folder like I did initially. If you notice that there is already a real PES 2025 existing file in the main folder, just let it be and copy the new one to cider add-ons. And lastly, we want to swap AI tweaks that we had in difficulty modifiers. To do that, just copy the AI tweaks from the hotfix to Fanorex overhaul difficulty modifiers folder so we can use them instead of the original ones. And then to use the new AI difficulties in the game, just copy the difficulty from version 4 tweaks that you want to use into modules folder instead, just like I showed you before. And that's it, the hotfix has been installed on your game. The last thing we will do before enjoying this beautiful game is installing Reshade. If you are new to Reshade, basically it is a program that adds kind of visual filters on your game's image. It's not a mandatory program to use by any means, the game will look great even without it, with all the lighting changes in this overhaul. So if by any chance you have a lot of problems getting the game running with a reshade, then just keep installing it for now and have fun with the game. But admittedly, I really enjoy using my favorite reshade preset on this game. I think it makes the game look even more realistic. So in this section I will show you how to install reshade to make it work with Funorex's overhaul. But before we do so, it's super useful that you try running the game before installing the reshade. If you don't test it now and get error later on after installing reshade, you won't really know where the problem lies, right? So try running the game with FL2025 start and see if it pops up properly. If the game runs properly without reshade, then let's get it installed as well. Funrex included 5.9.2 version of reshade in the game's main folder, but I personally had issues getting the game to run properly while using this particular version. And so I recommend downloading the latest reshade version from the official page. Right now it's 6.3.3. You will find link to reshade page in the video's description. So once you have reshade setup file on your computer, click the reshade setup button, then select browse and then search for where you have Fanorex overhaul on your PC. You want to install reshade on FL2025 exe file, so select that one. Then click next and select DirectX 10 slash 11 slash 12. Next, the program will ask you which effects you want to install. Here you want to click browse and then select the preset based on which reshade will choose FX to install. I am personally using my own reshade preset, so I am going to use that one for the installation purposes. But if you want to use Fanorex's one, then select True Vision C reshade file in the game's main folder. Once preset is selected, click Next, and the installer should set up the reshade on your game. Now you can try to run the game and see if reshade works fine on it. You will know by the bar on the top of your screen when the screen is black, uh, which shows you the version of reshade you have installed and loading the effects. But if you are launching the game and all that pops is cider window, but the game does not start, then it is a reshade problem. I don't have that issue when using 6.3 version of reshade, but I had it on 5.9. If that happens for you, you can try to first rename the file dxgi.dll to 
D3 D11.dll. And if that does not help, or you get any other sort of error but after the renaming of the file, then I recommend that you try a different version of Reshade. And if the issue persists and you run out of options, just simply uninstall Reshade from your game and just enjoy it for now without it. But if everything went fine, the game should be ready to play. Excited? Great. Let's get the game going. To launch the game, you want to use FL2025 start.exe file. Using this .exe file ensures that you boot Cider and the game together. If you use just FL2025 .exe file, then you need to start Cider manually beforehand, which is problematic. You also want to make sure that you run FL2025 start as administrator. To do that, right click on it, go to properties and then go to the compatibility tab. Here, tick run this program as an administrator. This is really important because if you do not run the game as admin, then you may face problems with mods not loading correctly, saving not working and so on. You will get a lot of problems. So make sure to follow this step. And if the game launches and the menu looks like something that you can see right now on my screen, then congrats my friend, you have it installed correctly, you are ready to have fun. And that should be it. Your game is ready to play. Tinker with the settings if you want to tailor the experience to your own liking. By default, the game is set to manual passing and assisted basic shooting. If you are new to manual controls in Pro Evo 21, then I recommend to keep it that way until you get the hang of passing first. And then, once you are comfortable with passing on manual settings, change the shooting from assisted to manual as well. Keep in mind that Fanorex overhaul does not work very well with assisted passing, so it's kinda mandatory to play with at least manual passing set on. Manual shooting is optional, but highly recommended. Alright, so that's all for this guide. I hope it was helpful and that you can now enjoy the game. If you have any other issues that I have not discussed in this video, then make sure to check FAQ section on Fanorex Discord server. I've put there a lot of answers to common problems that users faced in the past weeks. I am also planning to release some version 2 videos once I get enough time with this version of the game. So if you want to see my future videos on football games, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. Anyway, that's all from me in this video. Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next one.